The primary function of the build menu is really for calculating things like geometry and lighting and navigation paths in your level. To give a good example of this, I'm going to set up a couple of simple BSP brushes and a light source. So here inside this level, I'm going to jump over to the left-hand side of the screen and grab the cube button over here in the toolbox. I'm going to right-click on this button. And inside the properties window, let's set X to 1024. We'll set Y to 1024 as well. And we'll set Z to 32. I'll click build and close. Now let's add this into the level. So I'm just going to go to, to brush and choose add. And now if we come into an unlit view, we can actually see the platform that that created. Now if we look at this in lit mode by clicking the lit button here inside the perspective view, everything is pretty much black. So I'm going to add a light now. There's a couple of different ways to do this, but as a shortcut, I'm going to hold down the L key and just left click here on the surface and that creates a light. Now using the translation widget, I can just slide this light up into the air. Now let's say that I decided that floor was just in the wrong location. So I'm going to move my red builder brush out of the way. And let's say I take that floor and I move it up a little bit so it's away from the light. You can see the brush has moved, but the actual floor surface has not. That's because we need to recalculate where that geometry is being built. So we need to go under the build menu and choose geometry for current level. This will rebuild the geometry for the current level. You can also rebuild geometry for visible levels if you have level streaming and several levels are visible right now. So if we click geometry for current level, it takes a second and calculates. We get a couple of warnings that we can ignore for the time being and our platform has actually moved over here. So now I could potentially slide my light over here. Now admittedly I don't think I ever use the build option inside this menu because there's also a button analogous to it over here inside the main toolbar. You'll see it listed as a little tiny cube and it says build geometry for current level. So all that's doing is recalculating any changes you've made to your BSP brushes and it constructs your geometry for the level. That's all there is to it. Now moving down we have build lighting. If we were to try to play this level right now, I'm just going to right click here on this platform and choose play from here. We get this dark, spooky kind of environment. I can shoot my weapon, and we can see that there's a floor underneath me, but we can't really see anything else. It's because our lighting needs to be rebuilt. As a matter of fact, if we take a look, in the upper left corner of the window, it actually says the lighting needs to be rebuilt. It gives you a nice warning. So let's come under Build and choose Lighting. And this is going to give us some options as to what we want to build. Uh, for now, let's leave it at the defaults. It asks you where you want to build lighting for maybe only selected objects or only for the current level. What quality do you want? Would you like to use light mass, etc.? Let's go ahead and just leave everything just the way it is and click OK. Now, this will take just a moment because there are several things taking place here. Uh, swarm has got to fire up. Light mass has got to be engaged. We're going to get a couple of warning menus, but overall, it's fairly quick. However, now, if we right-click and choose Play from here we can see the floor. So what that build lighting option did was it created our pre-baked lighting for the level. So now we can actually see what's going on, which of course is going to be important. You can also build the AI paths. If you place any path nodes or pylons to create navigation meshes to move your AI bots around in your level, you can have all those get recalculated in case you've moved some stuff around. Next, we can build all. So if you don't want to choose an individual part, you just want to build everything, you can just click this and that'll take care of it. And then you can choose to play the level either right here inside the editor, which we just did a second ago, or on a PC, which will open up a separate uh, launch of the actual game and you can see what it looks like. Though these will require that a player start be placed in your level. So that's going to be everything for the build menu. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs>